So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. So I know that without reading it, just because of the length of the question, translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. And the strategy for this, uh, for this method, translate word problem, is to first and foremost, uh, not read the entire question all in one go. Instead, what we wanna do is read one sentence at a time um, making sure to stop in between sentences to make sure we understand what we just read and definitely writing down any quantitative information and the relevance of that quantitative information as we see it, right? So not, not after we finish reading it and go back and circle it or write it at the, after the fact. We want to write it down um, in real time. So this question says, Jackie has two summer jobs. All right, makes complete sense to me. She has two summer jobs. She works as a tutor which pays $12 per hour. Okay, so there's my first quantitative information. So I'm gonna say tutor equals $12 per hour. And she works as a lifeguard, which pays $9.50 per hour. Okay, so lifeguard equals $9.50 per hour. She can work no more than 20 hours per week Okay, so she's only going to work for 20 hours. But she wants to earn at least $220 per week. So she wants to earn $220 per week. Okay, which of the following systems of inequalities represents this situation in terms of X and Y? where X is the number of, hour, of hours she tutors and Y is the number of hours she works as a lifeguard. All right, so if X represents tutoring hours, right, so just put here, Y represents lifeguard hours, here comes the translation part, right? So I've, I've written down all the notes from the information provided, but now if I want to find the answer, I need to put these things together. So if she can only work for 20 hours and the only types the two types of work that she does are X and Y, that tells me that X plus Y has to be less than or equal to 20. Now, why less than or equal to? Well, it doesn't say that she definitely works 20 hours. That would be X plus Y equals 20. It just says that she can work no more than 20 hours. So she can get up to that 20, which is equal but she can also work 19 or 18 or 10, right? So that's the less than, okay? So that's this is my translation for that statement. Now the earning $220 per week, well, we know that she's making $12 from tutoring. So she's gonna make 12 times X for every X hours of tutoring. And she's gonna add to that salary $9.50 times however many hours of Y that she works for the week. And um, since it says earns at least, at least 220, that means she wants to make greater than or equal to 220, right? 220 is the least amount, but she could make 230, 240. Um, she, wants, she, she wants to make higher than 220, basically. So these are the two statements from just the translation. So now I look over to my answer choices and I see that everything looks pretty much like what I have, except for the inequalities. So let's try out choice A. Choice A um, says that 12X plus 9.5Y is less than or equal to 220. Well, that's incorrect. She wants to make at least 220, so that's gone. Choice B is the same, so that's gone. Choice C, that the first equation is good. The bottom one, X plus Y, is less than or equal to 20. That's also good. So I'm pretty sure choice C is the correct answer. I'm going to just look at choice D. Choice D has greater than or equal to for both. But, you know, she did not work more than 20 hours, right? So it's not going to be greater than. So D is out. Therefore, choice C is the best answer for this case.